Good morning. You are welcome to another edition of today's Daily Dynamite Devotional Guide, a Church of Nigeria devotional. I trust God that God will help us this morning to do justice to his word in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us pray. Father, we thank you. Bless your word in our heart. Help us as we go into your word that your word will give us direction. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today is 26th of June, 2023, and our topic for today's is becoming like Jesus. Becoming like Jesus. Our text will be taken from the book of Acts of the Apostles chapter 4 from verse 1 we will read through to verse 20. I read to your hearing. And as they spake unto the people the priests and the captain of the temple and the Sadducees came upon them being grieved that they taught the people and preached through Jesus the resurrection from the dead and they laid hands on them and put them in hold until the next day for it was now even too howbeit many of them which heard the word believed and the number of the men was, with, was about 5,000 and it came to pass on the morrow that their rulers the elders and scribes and, and Annas the high priest and Caiaphas and John and Alexander and as many as were of the kindred of the high priest were gathered together at Jerusalem and when they had set them in the midst they asked by what power or by what name have you do this then Peter filled with the Holy Ghost said unto them Ye rulers of the people and elders of Israel, if we this day be examined of the good deeds done to the impotent man, by what means he is made alive, he is made whole, be it known unto you all and to all the people of Israel that by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom ye crucified, whom God raised from the dead, even by him doth this man stand here before you. This is the stone which was set at naught of your builders, of you builders, which is become the head of the corner. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John, and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. And beholding the man which was healed, standing with them, they could say nothing against it. But when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council, they conferred again among themselves, saying, What shall we do to these men? For that indeed a notable miracle has been done by this man, by them, is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But that is spread no for, but that is that that is spread no further among the people. Let us strictly threaten them that they speak henceforth to no man in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hack it unto you more than unto God judge ye for we cannot but speak these things the things which we have seen and heard may God bless his word in our life in the name of Jesus Christ amen our topic this morning is becoming like Jesus isn't it a beautiful topic what else should we be talking about? What else should we be thinking about every day of our life, if not becoming like Jesus? Personally, I am excited about our team today for this, our daily dynamite devotional guide. Becoming like Jesus. I could just keep saying it, 
becoming like Jesus, becoming like Jesus, and that's it. The, the message is already passed. But we'll just look at our, our daily guide, our daily devotionals, guide, devotional guide, and we'll just take one or two things there. But remember, the message for this morning is becoming like Jesus. Our anchor verse is verse 13. We take our anchor verse from verse 13 of Acts of the Apostles chapter 4. I read again to your hearing. Now, when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. That they had been with Jesus. Becoming like Jesus. Men that have been with Jesus will end up becoming like Jesus. Praise the Lord. Men that has been with Jesus will certainly end up becoming like Jesus. I told you personally I'm excited about this topic this morning becoming like you so you 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 keep hearing it from me you keep hearing it from me becoming like jesus there is no other message there is nothing more to say than becoming like jesus you that is watching this morning can i ask you a question have you been with jesus have you been with jesus our our anchor verse showed us something they noticed that they were on land these men were fishermen they were professional fishermen. They were timid. They were, they, were, they were ignorant men. They were men that were from obscure background. But the Bible said because they have been with Jesus and after the Holy Ghost came and rested upon them, something extraordinary broke out of their lives. Ordinary men became extraordinary ordinary men began to do extraordinary mighty works how can you describe this the bible says that that the, the son of god was made the son of man that the sons of men will become the son of god can you see such an exchange so this is becoming like jesus ordinary men from no background fishermen that nobody knew they were, they were probably fishing in an obscure village, in a place where people did not even know them, apart from their daily fishermen activities, or their daily fishing activity, if you will. But somehow, they encountered Jesus, and they continued following him. They stayed with him. And when the Holy Ghost, the Holy, when the Holy Ghost came and dwelt upon them, ordinary men became mysteries ordinary men became living wonders becoming like jesus this is the will of god brothers and sisters people of god this is the will of god i told you i could, I could go on and just keep saying becoming like jesus becoming like jesus it is the message it is the message it is the me this is the message becoming like jesus becoming like jesus they they noticed from our anchor verse they noticed that this man had been with jesus so no matter your certificate it has nothing to do with certificate it has as a matter of fact it has nothing to do with your degree even though degree is good yes certificate is good yes education is good yes but this one had nothing to do with our own human education system because something came upon them. The Holy Ghost came upon them because they had been with Jesus. I want to talk to us briefly about the Holy Ghost. Do you know the Holy Ghost? Do you know the Holy Spirit? Does he live in you? Do you have a relationship with him? Have he revealed Jesus to you? It is a question that is facing you this morning. How can you become like Jesus? One, the Holy Ghost. The Bible says the Holy Ghost came upon them on the day of Pentecost. 
and they began to speak in different languages when the holy ghost comes upon a man the man becomes an extraordinary man the man begins to do extraordinary things how can you imagine a man taking up a, a, a clay a mold spat on it and use it to wash the eyes of a man and that man say i am I, 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 and the man began to see how what can you say about that so you see that the holy ghost have a dimension of working in our lives but the holy ghost cannot come until we receive jesus until we begin to stay with him remember the disciples stayed with him and he told them i am going to send the holy ghost to you we must come to a place of encounter we must learn to stay with jesus then we will be able to do great works in his name after the holy ghost have come upon us one of the things i also want to mention here is the boldness the bible recorded about their boldness they spoke with boldness because the holy ghost has come upon them the holy ghost will always make the difference in the life of an ordinary man the holy ghost will always make the difference in the life of a deprived man a man that has been ostracized by his family ostracized by his by his community a man that that have been reduced to nothing a feeling of inadequacy a man that cannot stand in the midst of his people to say a word the holy ghost had a way of coming to pick that man from the ground and raise him to a place of prominence where you begin to speak with kings and god i see god making you that man this morning in the name of jesus christ amen the presence of jesus distinguished peter and john from the others the presence of jesus this is one of the things written in our daily uh, 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 our, our daily dynamite uh, guide this morning the presence of jesus the presence of jesus and i ask you child of god do you have the presence of jesus but remember you, you cannot have the presence when you don't know jesus becoming like jesus so there are stages in order for you to become like jesus remember at this point in acts of the apostles chapter 4 the disciples had already started following him they have already started learning him they, were, they have already started understanding him knowing him praying with him so you see that it is not a day's process a day's journey it is something that happens over a process of time but the main thing is that the first step is for you to get born again the first step is for you to willfully and totally submit yourself to jesus then when you submit to him and receive him you begin to walk with him you begin to stay with him you begin to invite him and his presence then the holy ghost will come and make the difference in your life hear me child of god remember these are the same disciples that the bible says that they could not cast out the demon in the life of that child and jesus had to be angry with them i said how long will you stay with me these are the same disciples so what happened from that time they couldn't cast that demon to now they were doing this miracle the holy ghost came upon them this morning i'll pray with you or i pray for you that the holy ghost will come upon you child of god i don't know who you are maybe you are struggling with one particular area in your life struggling with sin struggling with one thing or the other i don't know what it is you want to serve god you want to be like jesus but suddenly this thing comes upon you and overtake you and keep you on the ground i pray for you for those of you with such testimonies that this morning that god will send the holy ghost upon your life let the holy ghost make the difference in your life in the name of jesus christ amen how could ordinary men begin to change their world and do the impossible this 
was the vexation of the of the uh, 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 Roman soldiers. How could ordinary men, men that they know that these men are fishermen, from where? From where? The, 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 who, who gave you that right? Who gave you that, that authority? From where? You see, this is where their vexation was coming from. But they didn't know that these men had been with Jesus. I pray for you again, child of God, as you make up your mind, to begin to stay with Jesus God will make you an extraordinary person in the name of Jesus Christ living and being able to manage your time in order for you to be like Jesus you must have priorities you must have priorities in order for you to be able to be like Jesus Becoming like Jesus, he has a price to pay. Be willing to pay the price, and you will see God make an extraordinary person out of your life. Our food for thought to be like Jesus, you must be with Him. I have spoken about that. To be like Jesus, you must be with Him. Nothing else will matter. Nothing else will matter. Go, let go of the party. Let go of the social gathering. Let go of all this activity. Give anything. Pay any price to be with him. You will never regret it. Our prayer this morning is this. You can pray with me if you want. Say, pray after me. Say, Father, show me how to be more like Jesus today so that I can draw men to you. Show me how to be like Jesus today so that I can draw men to you. It is, it is a thing of joy. I am excited personally that today we are talking about becoming like Jesus. I pray for you, child of God. As I leave, I leave you with this charge. Pray, I pray that you from today will begin to walk the path to be like Jesus. That God will give you the grace. That God will give you the enablement that God will strengthen you even in the area of your weakness that on the last day we shall all meet at his feet because we have already become like him thank you I pray that God will bless you in Jesus wonderful name we pray Amen God bless you I hope you are blessed by the word join us tomorrow on the daily dynamite